The story I wanted to share with you today is my challenge as an Iranian artist, as an Iranian woman artist, as an Iranian woman artist living in exile. Shirin Neshat is an Iranian artist and filmmaker, and although based in New York, most of her inspiration does come from her native land. Her work explores the cultural, religious and political realities that shape the identities of Muslim women worldwide. Basically, I'm an Iranian-born um, artist that had had to live outside of her country uh, actually longer than I've lived in my own country because of the revolution, Islamic revolution. And I think that um, my life has pretty much been defined by political turmoils and um, situations that have separated me from my family and my uh, country. And this has become a, a central in my work. And as a photographer and video artist, she's been recognized for her portraits of women overlaid with Persian calligraphy, notably with her women of Allah. I think in order to understand my entire body of work from the beginning with the photographs of women of Allah to what I'm doing today is a need to understand um, this connection between how my personal life and aspiration have always been intersecting with another aspect which is my social political interest in the country of Iran. And so my work is always navigating between issues that I face as one woman, one Iranian, one artist and issues that are far larger than me. And so it's a monologue and a dialogue uh, at the same time. Tell me about Passage 2001. Passage was a commission by Philip Glass, the composer Philip Glass. He invited me to make a 10-minute film that he could compose an original music to play live. <laughs> and Rapture, which won the International Prize at the 1999 Venice Biennale. Khanum, shuma az marz guzhashtim. Arad kalamati shudim bi parde, raz ibhaam. She won the Silver Lion at the Venice Film Festival in 2009 for her first feature film, Women Without Men, which examines the 1953 coup which installed the Shah. یادم میاد یه نور دیدم مثل یک فکر گم شده در فضا به من میگفت اگه خودتو رها کنی شاید راهتو پیدا کنی اما حالا حس میکنم گم شدم I then discovered why I take so much inspiration from Iranian women, that under all circumstances, they have pushed the boundary. They have confronted the authority. They have broken every rule in the smallest and the biggest way. And once again, they proved themselves. I stand here to say that Iranian women have found a new voice. And their voice is giving me my voice. And it's a great honor to be an Iranian woman and an Iranian artist, even if I have to operate in the West only for now. <laughs> Thank you so much. Farhang Foundation is proud to present the 2015 Farhang Heritage Award to Shirin Neshat in recognition of her extraordinary contributions to the world of art.